you know, there, none of us have a ton of experience of it, but we went through all the analytics and talked with those guys, and we just thought it'd be better. We wanted the ball third. Um, if both teams matched and scored, we wanted to be the ones who had the chance to go win, and um, we got that field goal, so we knew we had to hold them to at least to a field goal, and if, if we did, then we felt it was in our hands after that. I didn't even know about the new over uh, playoff overtime rule, so it was a surprise to me. Um, yeah, I didn't even really even know what was going on in terms of that. I, I, they put it on this, the scoreboard, and everyone was like, oh, even if you score, they get a chance still. So. Did the coaching staff ever approach that at all this week, letting you guys know that if there is a time when it goes to OT, like these rules are different? I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of it. You know what, I didn't even realize that the the playoff rules were different in overtime, so I I assumed you just want the ball because you score a touchdown and win, but I guess that's not the case. Um, so I don't really, I don't totally know the strategy there. No, no, we haven't talked about it, no. Okay. I, I'm coming to you on this one, Shannon. This was a little surprising for me to hear the Niners players admitting they didn't even know the OT rules. Can, can you break that down for me? No, and I would have never admitted that publicly. Right. Just they, they changed the rules a couple of years ago because everybody felt that whoever got the ball between the Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen, that's what, who was going to win the game. And so the NFL, because it used to be sudden death, any score in overtime, the first two score, the game was over. But they said, you know what? Uh, it doesn't seem fair. Now, if you kick a field goal, you don't win. We're going to give the other team a possession. And then Patrick Mahomes comes back. He gets in field goal range in 13 seconds. They get the ball in overtime, and they win. And the NFL says, you know what? Patrick Mahomes is so good, we want everybody to have a possession. Mm. You know, this is like this is elementary school. So everybody should get a, an award. Everybody should participate in the overtime. And you didn't know that? Even if you, yes, that been a rule. I, everybody should know that. Come on, guys. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't score a touchdown, so it didn't even matter. You talking about if you had scored? Right. Doesn't matter. You didn't score. I would, I like yeah. the ball. The, honestly, I like the ball second because you know, Dio. I want to know what I need. And guess what? I get an extra down because I get to go for it on fourth down if I didn't get it on third right. down. And see, that was the difference because and if Kyle scored two point conversion as well. Yeah. And exactly yeah. because Kyle Shanahan. He kicked the field. He took the field goal. But had it had he needed to know he needed a touchdown, he's going for it. So I I would have I would have because the game doesn't end if I score a touchdown. Mm -hmm. It's not like the old rules in regulation. Mm -hmm. In regulation, you score a touchdown, game's over. But in the postseason, everybody's going to get a possession. So scoring first does not matter. Mm -hmm. I would have deferred because I need to know what Patrick Mahomes did, and so now I get an opportunity to either match. Or uh, uh, exceed what well, he did. I will say yeah. this: number one, no, number one, this particular situation is a smear on the entire organization. It is, and let me tell you why. Number one, you're the coach, Kyle Shanahan. It's your job to make sure you articulate what the situation is, that your players know all the rules they need to know. That's number one. Number two, hold the players accountable. Last time I checked, you can read. Yes. You understand? You, 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 you're playing the game. This is your profession. How in God's name are you going to be post-game at the Super Bowl and talk about you weren't even aware of the circumstances of an overtime game when it's a Super Bowl championship yes. on the line? It just goes to show that folks were asleep at the wheel, at least to some degree. They certainly didn't play that way, especially defensively, because I give them a lot of credit where credit is due. But nevertheless, you cannot have a situation where you're admitting post-Super Bowl that you didn't even know the rules that pertain to overtime. Overtime is sudden death. Overtime is everything is on the line right now. And it's the Super Bowl championship that's on the line. And you're literally saying you weren't aware of it. That is just embarrassing. And that is a no, negligence of duty. No, no. It's not sudden death because everybody it, – it was sudden death in regulation. But it, you yeah. score a touchdown, right. you win the game. Understood. But the postseason – Wild card, divisional, wild uh, uh, cha uh, championship game and right. Super Bowl. Both teams will possess the right. football. I didn't mean it in, in its literal sense. I, I get, you're it, totally right. right. I'm just talking about yeah. the urgency of the moment yeah. is there. It's flagrant. You cannot be in a situation like that saying you didn't right. know the rules. It's basically college Dan, football. Dan, you know I want college you football, everybody gets a Hold up. I want to get Dan in here, guys. I want you to react to both in terms of what do you think of the players not knowing the rules? And then yeah. also, do you think it was a mistake by Shanahan? to take the ball first in OT. Absolutely a mistake by Kyle. Really two mistakes. Players not knowing the rules. So here's my, my thought on that. 
for a team that unqu unquestionably knew it was going to be playing in January in playoff games and certainly a, a decent chance to get to the Super Bowl, for them to not be in totality prepared for any and everything is a disadvantage. And I'm shocked that Kyle, who I think the world of and who was in an overtime Super Bowl, didn't have that team prepared, at least for the knowledge of it. And the fact that those are veteran players. Juszczyk has been around forever and Armstead has been around forever. So for that organization and for that team to not know, mistake. The decision, when it happened and they took the football, immediately I was like, that's a mistake. Couple reasons why. Number one, you're giving the other team an advantage of one more down. And not only the other team, you give Patrick Mahomes another down. Exactly. Two, it changes the way that you and they make play calls. If you, if, if I guarantee you, if, if Kansas City had the ball first and they got to that fourth and one with the way their defense was playing, they would have punted the football. They did a little bit earlier in this, I think the third or fourth quarter in their own, in their own backed up in their own territory. But yes. the, what happens is you give them the opportunity to know we, you've made the choice for me. I get to play with four downs now. Correct. That affects my second down play call. That affects my third down play call because I know I have another chance on fourth down. If Kyle wanted to take – because I heard Kyle say, well, it was the analytics. We wanted to get the ball third, thinking they score or, or we score, they score. We have then the chance to go win the football game. Then go for it on fourth down. The, don't kick the field goal. If the whole thought process was let's go be aggressive, then go for it on fourth and goal. And, again, that changes your second day – right, Shannon? Like, if you yes. if you want to – it's going to sure. change the second down play call. It might third change down, the third down play call. Brock Purdy was trying to be legendary. He was three points away from making history as the only quarterback drafted as Mr. Irrelevant to win the Super Bowl, unfortunately, for Niners fans. The burgeoning GOAT took the crown again. That would be Patrick Mahomes. Purdy played well, but there's no consolation prize in the Super Bowl. I mean, a lot of guys are quiet, and a lot of guys are still quiet right now. Um, not a lot has been said. Um, it just hurts. You know, we have the team, obviously, to do it, to win the whole thing and come up short like that. You know, the way things have been the last couple of years here, um, everyone wanted it so bad. So um, I think we're still trying to sort of gather, you know, our, our thoughts and, and everything right now. But Everyone in that locker room loves each other, I'll tell you that. Ugh, heartbreaking. Uh, Shannon, tell me this. Did Purdy prove he's a top quarterback to you yesterday? I got more questions. Oh, my gosh. Because he just said, what did he say, Stephen A? We had the team to win the Super Bowl. Right. You had a 10-point lead. 3 of 12 on third down, 25%. And I told you, Dio. Oh, he's going to silence all the critics. Oh, all this goes away. I said, Dio, if he doesn't win this game, you will still have more questions about Brock Purdy. And with that team, no excuses. You had Debo. You had IU. You had C-Mac. You had Trent Williams. You, you had everything George that you Kittle. needed. Because let me ask you a question. If I put Patrick Mahomes on San Francisco, how many championships do they win, Dio? If I gave and him that run, uh, 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 don't, don't do this. Mahomes. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. With that roster, if I give Josh Allen that roster, if I give Lamar Jackson, if I give Joe Burrow that roster, because that's what you're saying. That's what, no, no. You're saying he's top. So how? What, what's top? Top 10? Top 12? Top what? Top oh, he's what? firmly top 10. Rob Curdy is firmly a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. He, he's absolutely played himself in the top seven conversation. I mean, I can, I, probably, I can rattle off seven, eight names off the top of my head that I would take instead of, instead of him. And if I put those guys in that same offense, they would be better than him. That's just me. I think there's still questions about the, about the shouldn't say greatness, but I still have, he didn't silence all, but he had done a great job against Green Bay coming from behind. He did a great job against San Francisco. But Dio, you know how this works. When you got that roster, you got to close the deal. I still have questions, and I'm sorry if you don't, that he's answered all your questions. He's checked all the boxes, but he has it for me. Let me, let, let me say this, Dio. Do you want to chime in, Dio? You want me to go first? Hey, go ahead, Stephen. Go ahead. Sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> Listen, I thought Purdy did a good job. Was he great? No. Was he Patrick Mahomes? Hell no. But he didn't wet the bed. He didn't choke or anything like that. So I give him credit where credit is due. I thought that he did a good job. Here's to me. I think there's more questions about Kyle Shanahan than there are about Brock Purdy. I'm wondering how the hell could George Kittle have two catches for four yards? 
I'm wondering, like you brought up, Shannon, before you almost lost it, because <laughs> Christian McCaffrey, you running the football half the time as much as you're throwing it. When you got Christian McCaffrey, who was clearly an absolute stud, leading the team in both rushing and receiving yards yesterday. How do you not get this brother the ball significantly more? I'm thinking about that as well. When I look at Purdy, I'm looking at the fact 6 of 17 passing, just 35% for 82 yards with no touchdowns when targeting Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. To me, that's just the latest excuse as to why you should have been looking at C-Mac a little bit more. I'm just wondering about that when it comes to Shanahan, not necessarily Purdy. And I'm just looking at it from that perspective, and I'm saying to myself, Purdy did a good job. I didn't think that he was bad at all. I thought that he made some plays. I thought that he got the when he did get the ball to see Mac. Obviously, good things happen. Um, and again, I'm gonna re repeat myself. He didn't. He didn't wet the bed. He wasn't bad at all. It's just that he was not Patrick Mahomes. That's I, I, that's the knock against him. That's all you could say in this particular no. game. He was not Patrick Mahomes. I still have questions, and I you think guys, most people would. You guys, well, I, I, I don't know if I've legit. been more flabbergasted by your guys' feelings. Okay. I'm not acting here. This isn't like I'm being very genuine here. Oh, first of all, McCaffrey had 30 touches. What, how many would do we want? 40? He had 30 if necessary. touches. Necessary. It's the Super Bowl. If necessary. He had 30 touches. How I mean, many a, rushes? A, how many 22 rushes? 22 or 23? Something it, like that. I mean, he only had 80 yards rushing, Shannon. That's Kansas City's defense had done a tremendous job of minimizing their success. You talk about third down and the performance by the quarterback on third down. Kansas City's got one of the best third down defenses in football. That's why I told everybody for the two weeks, if San Francisco doesn't win first down, they're not going to be that good on offense. Brock Purdy was freaking awesome yesterday. It wasn't awesome. that he didn't wet the bed. He was awesome. Oh, the the questions, what question? So you mean to tell me, Shannon, that you still have questions because mm -hmm. he lost to the best player on the planet in the midst of a dynasty on the but final play of the game? He had he lost to the best player on the planet with the best team on the planet. Yes, that's why I have questions. Because guess what? Don't tell yes. me. What about that third down? Hold on. What about that uh, on third and five with two minutes left in the ball game in the fourth quarter? And he missed that throw. He missed the earlier throw to Debo in the end zone. Remember, I said that's game That's because of Chris out. Jones. That's because of Chris Jones was on his neck. He, no, well, He's oh, on well, his neck. How many times have we seen quarterbacks look down the gun barrel and make that throw? you got to make that throw in that moment Guys, if you want Shannon, to be that you, guy. Shannon, you know this. To, I mean, he's got one of the best pass rushing defensive tackles in football on I, his neck. That's what happens. Chris Jones saved three touchdowns yesterday. It can't just be the quarterback didn't play well. You have to give some credit to the I defense, Shannon. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we credit in the defense. Now we just, so that's what we do. So let me ask you a question. On third down, what is the 49ers defense rank? Because you make it seem like that he was going up against, he was going up against, that Patrick was going against air. No, the 49ers defense on third down was not a good defense. They weren't statistically high at all this year. Brock Purdy's QBR in that game was a 70 yesterday. Lamar, who is the MVP of the NFL. Josh Allen, who is unquestionably a top three quarterback. And Tua, their quarterback, their, their QBR this year in the playoffs against that defense was 43. Brock's was 70. Okay, those three guys versus pressure in these playoffs, Lamar, Josh Allen, and Tua versus that defense when they blitz, their, their, their QBR was a six. Brock's was a 75. Oh, There's uh, no way. I'm about to call you Ocho Dio. Dio, it's about moments. And I told you, I said he's going to – if you go back and look at the games in which Patrick Mahomes has lost in the playoffs, Yes, sir. With the exception of the AFC Championship game his first time, the yes. quarterbacks have oh, outplayed okay. him. Sure. Joe, L Joe Burrow outplayed him in the AFC Championship game when he went to Arrowhead and he beat him. Tom yes, Brady outplayed him in the Super Bowl. If you're going to rely on your auxiliary pieces, if you think your defense is going to beat that guy, your guy, your quarterback, and I know they're, they're not on the field at the same time, but yes, you got to outplay him. You gotta beat him, and you gotta make throws that you don't customarily. It's the Super Bowl, D.O. Shannon, we Shannon, uh, if, if okay, if we are going to sit here and say that he, if he doesn't outplay Brock Purdy, then we have, or excuse me, if he doesn't outplay Patrick Holmes, then we have questions. Then, no. like, we, we we can't have a conversation no, about it's it anymore. The throw, oh, oh, he has to make throws. It comes down. It's a throw here or there. That's the difference. 
Shane, I'm not saying. D, D, I, I can't. D, I can't. What, I can't walk away from that game thinking Brock Purdy was okay or good. He was fantastic. I, I thought he, if you went into that game, Shane, he had the best team. He, he had, really the, good. He had Shane, the best team, Do. He let me had ask you a the question. best team with a ten-point lead. L let me ask you a question. If we went into that game and we told you that San Francisco would average, or Christian McCaffrey would average, I think, less than three yards a carry, or less than four yards a carry, somewhere in the threes. You think that game goes to overtime? See, you're looking at it from like Christian McCaffrey didn't run hog wild. But when Christian McCaffrey has the ball up under his arm, guess where Patrick Mahomes is? On the sideline. Exactly! And that's what, that what you want! Huh? But what's that have to do with Brock Purdy? But that's what I'm saying. I trust Christian McCaffrey more than I trust Brock Purdy to make a long story short, and I made a short story long, and I apologize. I, 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 don't, I don't understand how going, get, going against a defense that had that, – that defense skunked it's not Lamar the, Jackson. You know what, you know it's not the steel curtain. It's not the steel curtain of the 85 Bears. Let me, Stop let me, it, Dio. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me try it here. Dan Orlovsky, somebody needs to say it, so I'm going to say it to you. I have never encountered an analyst in my life that exhausts himself as much as you do trying to protect the quarterback. You are unreal. You do a better <laughs> job than most offensive linemen. Yeah! Trying to protect the quarterback. It's like, listen, I understand that I, I, I said Brock Purdy did not wet the bed. He was pretty damn good. This is the same quarterback that went in the playoffs, and you're talking about a guy, this man went 6-0 and in beating all six of the other NFC playoff teams this year. This is what he did. I get it. But when he went up against Patrick Mahomes, as, as Shannon said, when you look at C-Mac, when you look at Ayuk, when you look at Debo, when you look at Kittle, when you look at Kyle Shanahan, boy genius, calling plays all the damn time, and you combine all of that with having a 10-point lead, yes, when Patrick Mahomes is on the field, he can do damage. The one time you are assured of him not being able to do damage is when he is on the sideline. And so the fact that you couldn't stop the bleeding, per se, when you had a 10-point lead and you couldn't sit up there and take advantage of it to a point where you put things beyond Patrick Mahomes' reach, you are culpable to some degree. It's not your fault. We're not looking at Brock Purdy and saying he doesn't deserve to be a starting NFL quarterback, that he's not pretty damn good, if not tinkering towards great, that he can't be the franchise quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers moving forward. We're not saying, we're certainly not saying he doesn't deserve his bag because as Mr. Irrelevant, you don't have any money yet compared to what you're going to get. What we're saying is on the biggest stage against a brother who is the biggest dude on the block, you had a 10-point lead with what was supposed to be a better team and you didn't close okay. the deal. There's culpability there for you, you but too. For, to That's Dan's all I'm saying. Defense, though, defending quarterbacks, he, he, you did play quarterback in the league for how many years? Well, you might have a different perspective. Well, because everybody in our world, it, it, it's, it's been like this. Tom Brady was the greatest. Everybody else w wasn't good enough. And now it's Patrick's the greatest, and if you're not Patrick, you're not good enough. And it's just – that's so unfair. Well, uh, well, well here's a question. Steve, well, let me – hold on. Let me, let me go to you then, okay? The objective is to win the Super Bowl. Certainly there are yes, teams sir. that Huff stink, Huff right? There are yes, think that teams that stink. And so they don't have a snowball's chance in hell of even being participants. And we will dismiss those. But when you're an elite team and you're in a position to capture a Super Bowl championship, just because we're saying you didn't get it done doesn't mean we're saying you suck. It means saying, that you but, didn't get. It means that you didn't get it done. We're not saying this is here and everybody else is no good. We understand that Patrick Mahomes is on another level. You yourself have bloviated about the greatness of Patrick Mahomes and how you're not going to even mention anybody in the same sentence as him. But the bottom line is, is that. You, he was at a 10-point deficit. But Stephen and a, when you, Kansas you City scores, you still get to come on the field and do what you can to negate him from getting the football back, if nothing else. Yeah. You are culpable to some degree. That's all I'm saying.